Well, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Bingley Grammar's first virtual open evening. I'm Luke Weston, proud to be your head teacher, and it's nine o'clock in the morning and normally we're doing this about six o'clock in the evening, so it all feels rather strange. But anyway, moving on. It is strange times for us and normally we would be inviting you into the school to have a look around, have a look at our excellent teachers, and they are the real selling point of the school, always have been. We do a lot of work with our internal facilities. We don't worry too much about painting the outside of the building. However, it's one of those times when we just can't do that. So what we've done is we're going to try and put together lots of shorter videos for you to drop in and out of as you see fit with the stuff that interests you, rather than lots and lots of 25 minute videos that have not a lot of content you'll be interested in. So where we're gonna go from here is on Monday, we're going to have a private Zoom bookable meeting for anyone that wants to with myself and Alex Dean, the deputy head. That's via our website. Uh, if we have lots more demand, we'll put on a second day. So if there aren't any slots available that you need, please just email the school. All our details are on the uh, website, so you can pick it up from there. So, in the end, it's time to pick a school. And these feel like very, very difficult times to be doing that in. But in reality, every year, parents feel exactly the same. You're worried about making the right choices. You have lots of choice to be had here. And actually, when you look at it, being in the Bingley area, you've got lots of very, very good schools to choose from. And lots of places in the country don't have that. So if I could make it a little easy for you, just think about that as you're going through. But in the end, you want a school that does three things keeps your child safe, keeps them happy, and gives them a very, very good education. That's what we do here at Bingley, because our students are not statistics. Every student has an individual curriculum that effectively is built around them. We don't play the points game to get our school great big value-added scores. We just make sure that each student gets exactly what they need. When they leave us, they can go on to do whatever they want to. So, they are our fundamental aims. Effectively, we just want everyone to be successful. We expect everyone to try their best, and we set ourselves and our students very, very high targets. Because by doing that, we ensure that every student then is as successful as they possibly can be. So how do you choose a school? Well, on the slide there, you can see that there are a variety of things that you can use to help you make that choice, ranging from looking at the school websites, looking at school newsletters, going on the Ofsted reports, talking to other parents, but also see if you can get a talk with a head teacher if you need some questions answered. They'll either do it on the phone virtually at the moment, or you may be able to booking like you do with us on a Zoom meeting. But really, it's about gathering as much information as you can at the moment. So some of the really tough questions you need answers to are how good is the pastoral system? Is my child going to be safe at your school? What's the financial position of the school? If they're running a massive deficit budget, you need to know that. How broad is the curriculum? Is my child going to be able to study the subjects they want to study? And also, what's the turnover rate of the teaching staff? I'll come back to that shortly. Is there evidence that the school's constantly trying to improve? Also, is the school in the multi-academy trust? Which other schools do they support? Is the school running for the benefit of the students? Or is the school running for the benefit of the school and its value-added score on the Ofsted website? And what is the Ofsted grade? How long ago were they inspected? So for Bingley, these questions are actually quite easy to answer. We have a very large and very well-trained pastoral staff. Some of those pastoral teams actually stay in certain year groups like 7-Eleven because they have different needs from the other year groups and so we build those specialisms as we go through. Our financial position is we've done a, a budget for this year and we are still in the black for the next three years. And that's important because it means we can still operate and buy all the computers, science equipment and everything else we still need to. How broad is the curriculum? Basically, we build a curriculum for every new year group that comes. So every year group has different needs, therefore they all have a slightly different curriculum every single year. What's the turnover rate of our staff? Well, actually our staff are our greatest resource. We work very hard in recruiting the best and keeping the best. And because it's a great place to work at Bingley and we have great students, our staff don't move on. And that means our staff know our students very, very well. 
Last year we had two staff move on and we've had our ninth member of staff that's coming back to us uh, from another school. It's like welcoming them home to the family. Is there evidence that the school's continually trying to improve? Well, you can see it being the grammar because we've recently become the computing hub for West Yorkshire. We work with lots of our primary schools. We deliver training for government qualifications for teachers. And there's a whole raft of things that you can see on our websites. Is the school in the multi-academy trust? Well, we aren't. And that might raise a few eyebrows, but at the moment, we decided that actually control of our own finances, our own ability to move forward was more important at this time. So we are still a local authority school. Is the school run for the benefit of the students or the school? Well, as we give students their own choice of qualifications and don't make lots of students do vocational qualifications that they don't need, the answer to that is we are firmly run for the students. Those students are the most important thing and it's really important they get the qualifications that they need to go on to do what they want to do. And then our Ofsted grade. We were Ofsted under the new Ofsted regime uh, in 2008 and we were given a grade two a good at that point. So, what do the numbers look like? Parents always want to know about the numbers and this year of course the numbers are really exciting because we didn't have any exams. Uh, so we're gonna, I've got, got some numbers for you, but we also remember they're a bit of a benchmark at the moment. But basically, over the last six years, uh, we've been smashing it out of the ballpark, I believe the term goes. Uh, we have had above average results for the last four years, and we are doing well above what our government targets are. And what I can show you on there is we are generally in the above average box. So for every single year, we're looking at being in the sort of top, 30% of schools. This year, we might just sneak into the, the big green box, the well above average at the top there, which will be great. We have brilliant results, as I said before. We've seen a sustained increase every year through our GCSE results, and that's important. We sustain the increase, and every year we put on more. We've got brilliant science results. We still do triple award science for a huge number of our students. Maths and English are still in, getting better and better every year. We have probably two of the best departments in the district in our maths and English team. We have great sixth form results. I mean, the measure of any sixth form in the end is how many students get on to go to university or apprenticeship or get a job and get their first choice. And really, we do very well at that. We get 98% of our students out to what they need to do. Our student sixth form team are very, very good, and we're also very, very large. And a lot of people sign up with us in year seven because that gets you first preference for our sixth form places later on. So you've got to remember that you're signing up for school for the next seven years, not about what you see today. So it's kind of trying to extrapolate what you see. Is this going to be a great fit for my son or daughter? Because in the end, I've got bad news for your parents, you won't be joining us for seven years. Your son or daughter's got to come every day, even when it's dark and rainy in January. So it's got to be a great fit. I think we can say we are great because we're successfully good every year. We've got a brilliant academic track record and we've got a very secure financial future. So why choose us? Well, if you, if you were coming and having a look around, you would see that we are a very friendly, large, vibrant, safe and happy school. We spend our money on the things that matters. We don't spend it trying to make our buildings look better. We spend it on things that matter for students. So we carry extra staff in English, maths and science. We've now got our 18th science lab. We've just put in our 16th computer lab. Okay, we keep and recruit the best staff we can in the district. All of these are vital to the education of our young people. So lastly from us, please remember that we are holding our live Zoom meetings that will give you 10 minutes to ask any questions and answers you want to one-to-one -to -one with either myself or the Deputy Head, Alex Dean. We are running out of slots at the moment, so if you do want one and you can't get a slot, please email us. The details are on the website and we'll sort out another date. Also, don't forget the deadline for secondary applications is the 31st of October. This year it's a Saturday. So set your alarms and make sure you don't miss the deadline. And there, the good news from us is, usually it's open evening Thursday and it's absolutely tanking down with rain, which makes the whole process very wet. And sitting in the hall with very wet people is always not the funniest. But this year, we get to do it virtually. I checked the weather today and it's going to rain tonight. So at least there is some positives from these virtual conversations we're having. But 
If you want to get in touch with us, please do. My email address is at the bottom there if you want to email me directly. If you want to have a Zoom meeting at any time, please let us know and we'll sort that out. Try to get all the information you can to make that choice for your son or daughter. Thanks for listening and I hope we've given you enough information.